going in. How often do do you know uh, hip hop get get pushed off into the rodeo? Sir? Never. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. You know what I'm saying? So saw it last you. night. It was crazy. You did it last night? What? At the rodeo? Oh, yeah. yeah I was mad. About I Bo- saw it all over the man, internet. Man, Bobo Luciani called me. Man, I'm going E. I'm going. I said, where you going? I bun and called me. I said, nigga, you couldn't have called me? Beautiful. Bro, I said, e- I would have came early. Good Epic moment last night. So, you said sold out show, right? Sold out, sold out show. How hard? 70,000. How long yeah, is, how, I know it ain't been many of y'all in that rodeo like this going in. How often do do you know uh, hip hop get get pushed off into the rodeo? Sir? Never. Mm. So how you've never seen it ever? This is the first time. Yep. This is first time from you talking about us? Yeah, mm-hmm. this first time. Well, and I, this is the thing we was gonna go to the rodeo anyway. Okay, we were part of you know we're not into and we people. I, this is a a staple in our city. You either going to the carnival. To the road, you're taking your kids, you're a part of So To be a part of Black Heritage Today and actually get to perform in the middle of the stadium, this was epic. How did they come at you about it, Well, Bun put it together. You know what I'm saying? Bun did. That's what I tell people, too, man. We all get opportunities in different spaces to be mm-hmm. great. Yeah. You know, I do this, I do that. And uh, for him to get that opportunity, man, he was around the right folks. They gave him an opportunity. At the right time. And a lot of people just find out about it now. I kind of knew a little bug about it a minute ago. Yeah. And it, it transpired. It came together. And um, he reached out. And he could have he could have done something and made it all about him. And he gave an opportunity for the city came out, man. Yeah, that's like, dope. Like, crazy. So who all performed? You, Bun? Me, Slim, Slim. Bun, Zero, Willie D, Flip, Pokey, Power Wow, Latoya Lucky. Um, Y'all shut that up. H-Town. Damn. H-Town Knock, Knocking the boots. Yeah. Lele, mm. um, ESG. Um, wow. They brought them out. 70,000. I'm going to be a boy. I'm going to tell you. Baby Bash. Nigga, I'm going to talk bad to that nigga when I see him. He wrong for that, man. Bun can bring anybody out. Yeah, I know it. But I'm talking about Bobo. <laughs> this nigga came on my show. This nigga going to leave me. Nigga left me. You know he left that. When I get back, we gonna do the show. We but no, we not doing it no more. <laughs> <laughs> you done messed that all the way up. It was nice, bro. It I was, heard it. I knew it would be. Uh, he sent me the picture with they had chameleon the air. Mm. That boy performed. No, this is the second time he done performed in history. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Since he that's called my, himself the left. Yeah, that's my you know, guy. I, he came out, man. It was. It was epic. It was epic, it man. Was epic. Man, so how do you, you know, how do you process like when you go into the studio and you, you know, you fit to do your thing? Or I, I could talk about the roadie, but how do you process the music? Like, do you do you write a lot, or do you go in there and you hear a beat? Or how do how do you do it? Um, my process is a little different from it used to be. Like, I'm not one. Of the, I'm not in the studio all night. Okay, I don't do that. Like, uh, people tell me, yeah, we was in the studio, man, from <laughs> twelve to six in the morning. I hit them with what y'all was doing. <laughs> you know, like I don't, I don't like. I kind of this is what I do. I like. I get the like. I'm gonna the call vibe. my producers, and I'm gonna get the music. They gonna mm-hmm. either send it or I'm gonna go do it. I'm gonna vibe. I'm gonna get the vibe. And most of the time, I'm vibing in my space where I'm cool. At, if I'm smoking here, if I'm doing this, whatever. And when I go to the studio, I'm at work. Man, my engineers will tell you, man. Like, I be having to tip them. Yeah, yeah. You know because. Just say it's fifty, sixty dollars an hour, man. I've been and came in and got three songs done in an hour, four. Wow. You know, run through it. You know what I'm saying? So I've been in shit. They've been and done twelve songs on me and been and made one hundred fifty dollars. Mm. What was the first studio that you went to? When you was young, um, and how did you feel walking into the first studio? It was crazy because we had came from nothing but screw tapes. Okay, I mean, right. and, and Screw That's House was just like this with tables and a microphone. Yeah, mm-hmm. and, and people really thinking that we rapping on these beats slow. Not they going fast, just like record. Boom, they going just like they that, and down. then we slow it down. Mm-hmm. So my first transition was going to the studio was really going. I want to say it was um, this dude named Fresh, and he had real to real. Okay, see, I, boys, I'm from everything. Yeah, real to real, a that. Yeah. See, I really rapped on this shit. Where well, you really had to, but get ready to do a song, you had to put four VCR tapes in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. To hear the yeah. yeah, I'm from that. And draped up and dripped out the big three in the morning. I done that in in the middle of a room on a microphone with no headphones, no booth. Mm. And that whole went hard. And that's the, one of the biggest songs of my life. Went so hard. When we was young, we got introduced to the studio. Now the studio is much different. Even my whole album, Don't Mess with Texas, we recorded that in a box. About this big, that was the bathroom. We had a little room. 
the back part was the studio and the front part of it was the bathroom. We went in there and shut the toilet out of there and made it to the booth. Mm. <laughs> Recorded the whole album, Southside, everything right there. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.